Today, I'd like to you know, explain uh, about my policies uh, that I'd like to uh, accomplish uh, uh, in four years, uh, my tenure. There are three points, three major policies. <coughs> Number one is the, to make Tokyo the strongest city uh, against the uh, disaster. And number two is the welfare city of the world. And number three is how to succeed the uh, 2020 Olympic Games. First of all, I firmly believe that Tokyo, the capital of Japan, is the source of a country's growth and development and should be a model for major cities, not only in Japan, but also in the world. But uh, according to recent uh, ranking of the world's major cities announced by a private research institute, but this is connected to its Mori building company. Uh, Tokyo is resigned to fourth place following London, New York, and Paris. Uh, using the Olympic and Paralympic Games in, 60, in six years' time as a goal to aim for is to take Tokyo to the top. To do so, I will first focus on making Tokyo the best city in the world in three specific areas. As I told you, first, I will work to make Tokyo the world's safest city. March 11 was the third anniversary of the earthquake and tsunami of 2011, and this renew, renew, renewed my awareness of the enormous sacrifices that result from this catastrophe. Uh, Keeping in mind the lessons we learned, I will dedicate myself to transforming Tokyo into a city that can strongly withstand disasters. So we will first promote uh, seismic renovation of buildings and the removal of utility poles along key roads. Number two, improve district with close-set wooden houses, you know, in Stamach period, you know, so, so narrow streets and very traditional, tiny wooden houses. And construct roads to stop the spread of the fire. We need a wide road to stop the fire. Uh, number three, enhance the disaster response capa capacities of the community, such as the neighborhood associations, Chonaikai, and resident associations. Number four, encourage residents to stockpile food and order at home to help themselves and each other. Second main policy, I would, I would work to make Tokyo the world's best city in terms of welfare. I would like to change this city to the most you know, happiest, mo happiest city of the world. I want to create a Tokyo where everyone can sincerely feel happy that uh, they are born in Tokyo, they are able to live and raise children and continue to work in Tokyo. And nearing the end, when they look back on their lives, they can say that they had a true, truly fulfilling and happy life in Tokyo. This is my goal. So for example, number one, during my four-year term of office, we will increase the number of daycare services so that there are no longer any children on the waiting list. Uh, there are approximately 8,000 children waiting to enter a facility. And number two, we will apply ingenuity such as using metropolitan-owned metropolitan land to significantly increase the number of openings at special nursing homes for the aged. Number three, we will promote a work-life balance and build an environment where both men and women can raise children or care for their elderly patrons while working. Number four, we aim for a society where people can enjoy good health their whole lives long. The Olympic and Paralympic Games will be used as an opportunity to make sports more approachable to the citizens of Tokyo. We will make many, many sports facilities uh, very soon. Number three goal of my main policies. I'd work to make the Tokyo 2020 Games the world's best ever games. I was in Sochi to attend the uh, February 23rd closing ceremony of the Sochi Winter Olympics. I was also able to feel the problem of not being able to communicate in a language other than Russian. Fortunately, I speak a little Russian. Uh, but uh, 
even in a souvenir shops, they can't understand one, two, three. Impossible to buy any souvenirs. But in uh, the Olympic Games, you know, in this site, there are many, many youngsters who can speak in English, the volunteer uh, interpreter. That's as good. So I, I'd like to do the same kind of things in Tokyo. And uh, not only youngsters, but I asked during my electoral campaign to the aged person. They are aged, but they are very, very strong and very healthy. And ask them, the grandmother and grandfather, just to go to the uh, uh, school of English conversation. And uh, I will give some kind of subsidies. And they can learn the English. And at least Japanese people of Tokyo can say one, two, three <laughs> in Asakusa or in, in shops, right?